What's up guys? I'm Ols87. And I'm Jesse. And as always, we're here counting down the top 10 things to do when you're bored for each month. So, here's our list for July. Number 10, go to a water park. It's the middle of summer, so it's time to cool off in style. You can always go down the Lazy River or hit every monster water slide there. And if that's not exciting enough for you, you can always grab a stopwatch and see who can get the fastest time. And if you see a Snickers bar, don't eat it. And number nine is to go surfing. Growing up watching Johnny Tsunami and Rocket Power. Wiggity 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 wiggity. Really? I always, I always wanted to go surfing, but we live in Michigan, nowhere near the ocean, so it's not possible. But now that they have wake surfing, you can do it behind a boat, and it's a ton of fun, it's awesome, we love doing it. So, grab your board, hit the lake, or the beach, and hang ten, bro. Number eight, go to a zoo, take a stroll and see some animals before we uh, cause them all to go extinct. <laughs> and before you go, look online to see if they have any special events going on that weekend, like Zoo Brew or Festival of Lights. And remember, avoid the alligator and gorilla tanks, please. We watch the news, we know what happens. Shame. Bad animals, they're, they're animals. Well, we really shouldn't be there. Yeah, get them out of the cage. <laughs> Number seven, go paddle boarding. Paddle board is not only a great way to see the lake, it's also a great exercise. You can do some paddle board aerobics or some paddle board yoga. And if that's not for you, you can go find a friend on a paddle board and do some paddle battle and see who's the last one standing. Or, if you don't have a paddleboard, you can always go to the closest lake to you, and 9 times out of 10, they'll run you a paddleboard for about 20 bucks an hour. Get out there, go paddle. Number 6, Beach Volleyball. This is one of our favorite things to do. We even built a court in the backyard. It's great exercise, and guess what? If you ain't got no shirt or no shoes, well, they're not required. And if you don't have a court, just head to a local beach or a park and play it there. Spike! And number five! Hey! <laughs> Fun runs are popping up everywhere. You got your local races, but then you also got the big ones like the color run. Here's a video of Claire and Chelsea running that. And I just clicked the watch. And you can also run races like the Tough Mudder, the Warrior Dash, Spartan Race, Inflatable 5K, or the, the night one. The night one. Uh, they got races for just about everything. Pick the one that you like or that you want to do and get out there and run it. Number four, go for a hot air balloon or helicopter ride. If you live in a major city, nine times out of 10, there's a helicopter tour that costs around 100 bucks. This is the best way to get all the sights of the city. And the uh, number three thing to do, and one of my all time favorite things to do in the summer is to go tubing down a river. I'm not sure if it's just a Michigan thing since we have so many rivers and stuff or statewide thing, but pretty much you take a tube like this and they drive you up a couple miles down the road and they drop you off and you just float back down. Don't forget to bring an extra tube for the cooler and also make sure that the tube is of a high quality otherwise it will not make it and you're gonna end up swimming. Yeah, if your tube pops, it's gonna make for a bad day. You're gonna have a bad time. Number two, go to a fair or a carnival. <laughs> we loved it so much that we even worked at a carnival. I worked Wildcat Ski Ball and I worked at Looney Tunes Rollerball game. And it's fast, it's fun, it's easily done, it's a roller racing, roller chasing, good time fun for each and every one. So, go to a carnival, ride some rides, eat an elephant ear, and win yourself a prize. Here you are, sir. Oh, thank you. And the number one thing to do for the month of July is... Go to a fireworks show. In 1776, our country was born, and we celebrate Independence Day the only way America knows how. By blowing stuff up! So go to a fireworks show and watch the explosions and ooh and ah in the sky as they go above you. And if you don't want to fight the crowds, you can always have a fireworks show at your own house. Just make sure you bring the good stuff because we didn't come to see snakes and sparklers. And don't forget, the day after the 4th of July, remember to hit those stands and stock up on as many fireworks as possible for next year.
And that's it for the countdown of July. If you have any suggestions, tell us what you like to do for fun and throw them in the comment section below. And if it's your first time here and you want to subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos, you can do that by clicking this red button. And that does it for this month's countdown. We'll see you next time in August. Do that by subscribing by clicking this red button. This month's countdown of July. If y'all have I don't know why I'm saying y'all. Alright. <clears throat> and that's it. And that's it for this month. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Spit it out, Tim. This for July. <laughs> City. And you also don't want to miss the opportunity of the once in a chance. Ah, once in a chance. Once in a chance. That's all you get. <laughs> once in a chance. What are you doing with your life? Get it together! You can do this! Forget that you don't want to miss the once in a chance. Once in a lifetime opportunity. He says we got this. Do you got this? I got this. You got this. I got this this time. Alright, I feel it. Alright. Just kidding, you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs>